How's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here. As you can see from the clouds, we could get rain anytime. My little weather app said we weren't supposed to get rain until next week Wednesday, but here we are. We could be facing some rain. In fact, we got a little bit of rain earlier today. Kind of exciting. What I'm doing here today is just fixing one of the small problems I saw from the rains we had the last time. And that is right here with the water tank. There was so much pressure coming up over here. There's just not that great of a seal and water was just kind of bubbling up coming through. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this JB Weld recommended by our friend Todd. He recommended the JB Weld as a good way to kind of seal up the plastics. Said it's not the first choice. First choice he said is to use maybe a aquarium grade silicone caulk and go from the inside. But I don't have that option right now. So we're gonna go with the JB Weld, maybe a little stronger, then we're gonna go with it on the outside. I trust Todd not to steer me wrong on that. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. What I wanted to talk to you a little bit today is that Jessica and I recently got to see a movie. Not the theaters or anything fancy like that. A little red box thing. I splurged, did red box. I don't like to do that too often because obviously when you rent it, you gotta take it back, but I did it. It was Pet Cemetery, the remake. And I love that movie. I love the original and I definitely love the book. I'm a big Stephen King fan. I love reading. And Stephen King is just a hero of mine. Of course, Stephen King is kind of known as a horror writer. And he does have a flair for the macabre. I ain't gonna hide it. But if you've read any of his books, yeah, they usually have a dark twist to it, but it's really a study in human nature, almost all of them. And as you go through his books, it seems like he's working out certain things for himself as well, as for the reader. And he'll deal with certain subjects until he's ready to move on to another thing. So we watched the movie Pet Cemetery. I won't go on to do a movie review right here. That's not what this is about. I'll just say a couple things about the movie. I think it hit its mark on a couple things and I think it missed its mark on a couple things. I guess halfway decent for a remake. And the alternate ending was way better than the ending they had in there, I'll tell you that much. A little disappointed on that front. Now Pet Cemetery is indeed a story about cursed land and that it can bring things back from the dead. And when these things do come back, they're not the same. Whatever you buried isn't what comes back. It's a pretty scary notion. But what lies at the heart of that story is a very human thing. It's really about a doctor who has such a huge problem letting go. In the beginning, he fights his hardest to save a patient that's pretty much a hopeless case, but not to him, not to him. He tries his hardest to save that guy's life. So you can imagine when he suffers loss in his own family, well, he takes that even harder. And the fact that he knows that this cemetery can bring people back to life, it's just too good of an opportunity for him not to take that up. Despite the warnings given to him by a good spirit, he proceeds anyway to bring his family back to life, regardless of the repercussions, because he absolutely couldn't let go. He couldn't let his family rest. I'm thinking to myself, how much does that happen to the rest of us? Despite the warnings, despite the consequences, we just can't let certain things go. Whether it's ideas for certain projects, whether it's people, sometimes we hold on to these things way longer than we should. Now in the book or the movie, the doctor's inability to let these things go causes him to be haunted by demons. It's not his family that comes back from the grave. It's something else, something malevolent. And unfortunately, the same thing can happen to us, just you and me. And I'm not talking about being haunted by demons, but some of those decisions can come back to haunt us when we refuse to let things go. Maybe we can't let the sleeping dog lie, so to speak. It's a difficult thing to know for sure, when to keep pressing forward and when to let things go. I know I probably haven't learned that lesson yet, but it's definitely something to think about. I'm gonna keep working on trying to seal this, besides making a mess over here. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining me while I talk about a movie <laughs> and just my thoughts on it. If you can relate to this, if there's anything that you maybe had issues with letting go, leave that down below. We'd like to hear about that. Thanks for sticking around. Just so you guys know, starting next week, we're doing our new schedule. Three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we'll probably throw in a live somewhere. I don't know exactly when yet. We'll definitely let you know. 
All right. Thanks a lot.